Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm giving a test on giant ionic structure. If you haven't watched my teaching video, you can click over here and watch the video on giant ionic structure. Please, before doing the test, pause the video, try this question in your head, and once you have finished, I'll go through the answers. So if you're ready, let's do this. Question 1a. Name the bond X in the diagram. You can see that the bond over here is holding the positive and the negative ion together. So, such bond has to be ionic bonding. A different name for ionic bonding is electrostatic attraction, which is involved in opposite charge ion. Be part of the question. Name the above arrangement. Now, the name given for this arrangement is called lattice arrangement. Question two, explain the reason for these properties. It has high melting point. The reason why giant ionic structure has a high melting point is because it has many bonds. And such bond is very strong. So I'm gonna write many strong bonds. If it has many strong bond, then large amount of heat energy will be needed to break those bond. So if a question come up like this, you have to give two points. Question 2b. Giant ionic structure can be dissolved in water. The reason why it can be dissolved by water is because the structure is made up of iron and iron can interact with water. So the answer for this question can be written in two ways. You can either say it is made up of iron or you could say the iron can interact with water. Question 2C. It can only conduct electricity when dissolved or if it is melted. If the giant ionic structure is melted or dissolved in water, then it can conduct electricity. But if it's found as a solid, then it won't conduct electricity. And the reason is because in the solid state, the ions are fixed in one place. But when it's dissolved or molten, the ions are free to move around. And Therefore, it can conduct electricity. So the answer is, if dissolved or melted, the ions are free to move around. You should never mention free moving electrons because there are not free moving electrons when it comes to giant ionic structure. Only mention free moving electrons when it comes to metallic bonding or graphite which is a giant covalent structure. Everything adds up to six. Well done if you got all of them right. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.